Jam Master J got shot and killed. Pac got shot and killed. Biggie got shot and killed. X just got shot and killed. It's a shame. But the greatest shame is, what about all of the young men and women who are not celebrities getting shot and killed? Imagine if the same way we advertise X and advertise J's death and Biggie's death, imagine what would happen if we started advertising every young person getting shot and killed. Then it would be outrage. My fight isn't with the dude that shot Jam Master J in the head. I have no personal beef with him. My fight is against the mentality that would cause him to do it. Pac got shot, hip hop mourns for two, three weeks, and then we go back doing the same bullshit, same ideas, concepts, and images, like having a gun is cool, not changing the conditions that kill Pac. So, of course, two weeks later, another motherfucker's going down and Biggie's going down. Then we do the same thing. We make tribute records and we talk on he's a legend and that. The thing is, when the first shooting happened, let's do something so that it doesn't happen again. Why having a gun and shoot motherfuckers is cool? That's a hip-hop mentality with you, because I'm from the hood, this and that. No, we created hip-hop so we didn't need street gangs and drug dealers. That excuse is Arnold Schwarzenegger and Bruce Willis and they make violent action films. So my thing to anybody in hip-hop saying, it's acceptable because it's entertainment. No, it's different. If you're gonna use that excuse, then get the fuck off the mic and go be an actor. <laughs> Hip hop has a responsibility no matter what generation we're from, you come now, past, present, and future. You can tell a story about gangs and drug dealing and stuff like that. But the very next record on your album is a record about not using a gun. Your motherfuckers can make whatever y'all want. For me, it's fucking homicide and genocide. People are killing each other. When I came out and said, with the same attitude that a rapper would talk about selling drugs, I'm DMC, and the place to be, I go to St. John's University. Since kindergarten, I acquired the knowledge. After 12th grade, I went straight to college. I didn't preach. I didn't say you're wrong for being in the gang or using a gun. But the guys that was in the gang and using guns was like, oh shit. DMC, one of the baddest motherfuckers on the planet said, he go to St. John's University and education is cool. And I had kids come and tell me, yo, when you said that rhyme, be just for you saying it, you made me realize that I don't need a gun. I don't need to sell drugs. I went and got my GED. Okay, now I got a GED because DMC said education is cool. But you made me realize you can be educated, safe, and not sell drugs and be in a gang and still get money. Hip hop came along because we was killing each other, shooting each other, and having gang fights. And the Zulu Nation said, y'all motherfuckers gotta stop killing each other. And people was like, so what the hell are we gonna do? Hip hop said, what can you do? All of the possibilities and all of the things to make the necessary changes is right at our fingertips, but nobody is utilizing. I don't hate on this generation's hip hop, but we gotta create hip hop all over again. People ask me, what do you think about today's hip hop? I say, it's disco. I remember as a little kid, disco was huge. One morning when I was little, I went to sleep and I woke up the next morning and all over the world and the globe, disco sucks. All everybody was saying the disco sucks. It wasn't the artists and the music that sucks. It was the fucking lifestyle. If you look at hip hop right now, purple fur coats, diamonds, champagne, Rolls Royces, Bentleys, fucking Learjets, sex, violence, everybody's living their life. So what happened when that happened in New York City in the 70s? The very thing that's happening with hip hop right now is what disco did and a motherfucker named Melly Mel came out and made a record, The Message. Right now, we need a 17 to 19 year old individual to make The Message. To shut down all the nonsense that we're celebrating. Drinking lean and this and that. You can get high, you can go to the party, but what about making sure everybody's eating? That's what hip hop did. Hollywood was coming to New York to party at Studio 54 with their Bentleys and their Rolls Royces and their fur coats and their champagne and their reefer and their heroin and they was having fucking sex everywhere with the glitter balls. Look at disco in the 70s and look at hip hop. Motherfuckers was dressing crazy and this and that. So it took some young boys and girls who weren't politicians and this motherfucker stepped to the mic and said, it's like a jungle sometimes. It makes me wonder how I keep from going under. Don't push me. Right now, motherfuckers, is close to the edge. Trump is bugging out. Hip-hop is just totally going insane. Right now, hip-hop is just fun. They announced hip-hop is the number one music and it's overtaken rock. Why did they make that announcement at the time when hip-hop is at its most disrespectful and ignorant? It's always been number one, but why didn't they make that announcement when Public Enemy was killing? 
Why didn't they make that announcement when Harris One was killing? Okay, yeah, because there's more downloads and streaming and stuff like that. There's more people listening to hip hop at the most fucking stupid, ignorant time in its history. You should have said that 50 years ago when it was competing with rock. I opened for ZZ Top. We opened for The Clash. Why didn't you announce it then? Why? Because we were clean and we didn't curse and it wasn't about sex and shooting. But it's a problem when you say it's popular now because motherfuckers are shooting, killing X and taking Xanax and all of that. Don't announce that shit. Play some fucking records about the kids not doing it so another X don't gotta die. That's the problem. When we created hip hop 45 years ago, things started to change. The powers to be started to notice something. We need groups that look like Migos rapping like De La Soul. We need a guy that looks like Lil Wayne talking like KRS-One. We need a guy like Drake making records like Chuck D, a public enemy doing. I'm not talking about to sell records and be number one rappers, to see change in the everyday lives of our people. Somebody said 10 years ago, if aliens came to earth and looked at hip hop in the last 15, 20 years, they wouldn't know what was going on. But prior to 15, 20 years, every time there was an issue, in our community, in our music, in society, that very week a rapper would make a record about it. Look at what's been going on globally in the world. Look at what's been going on in America. We went through two Gulf Wars, all the crime in the streets, all the shootings, the police shooting kids, the white police shooting kids, kids shooting kids, the disrespect of our women is fucked up politically with Trump, the education who sucks. They've taken all the necessary programs that work out of all the communities and nobody's talking about it. Not just the rappers, none of the rock stars or none of the pop stars are addressing the issue. There was a time where as soon as something happened in media that was happened historically, we all jumped on it. Now this current generation sits back because they think it's not cool to talk about doing something right. These kids now get more attention if they talk about their Xanax problem and how much lean and codeine they take. Run DMC smoked more weed than God could possibly grow on this green earth. We never put those images and concepts on our records. I drunk more liquor than the earth could produce. I was sending in orders before they could even make it in the distillery. I was going directly to God, send me my liquor now. But I never put those images, concepts on the record, why? Because if Run DMC can make a record about these in the whole world to this day wanna learn, it, what's gonna happen if I rhyme about codeine and smoking angel dust? See, that's the problem, it's not a problem for Carol, it's a lack of responsibility. Listen to hip hop radio. All the fucking records is about codeine and Xanax. There's not one rapper on there rapping, I never got high a day in my life. We need dudes in hip hop that don't get high. We need dudes in hip hop that ain't in the street gang. We need to over flood hip hop with Kendrick Lamar and Chance the Rappers. We have Chance, we have Kendrick Lamar, we have a lot of underground MCs. Those underground MCs should be allowed to express those views and ideas commercially. Earlier, hip hop was so diverse in the beginning. It was Run DMC, but it was De La Soul. It was NWA. Everybody was rapping, but everybody was different. Collectively, we all made hip hop great. So now it's about the front man. Let's just get the front man. The dominant presentation was group. Why? Because we are stronger together. That's why when the Wu Tang did come along, it was a lot of the motherfuckers. It was powerful and it was a statement. Now you can really focus on what we're trying to accomplish, what we're trying to say. We're more threatening when we show our numbers. So what happened was they started looking at this group, seeing the one guy that stands out and say, yo, come here, get rid of your group and come here and do this this way for us. Somewhere along the line, the powers that be figure if they divide us up, feed one guy so he's all right, he's not going to give a fuck about bringing, look, if I could get in a group with three people, that means I could get in a group with four people. If I could get with four, I could get with five. So they didn't want to see us grow on a positive note. You got all these radio stations globally that said, the station that loves hip hop, we love hip hop. But you're only playing these groups for the hot individuals. You're not playing the, the powerful, educational, inspirational, motivational, representational songs of the hip hop culture. So they broke us down. You saw Run DMC. 
You didn't have to love Run. You might have, yo, I like that guy Jay, man. Or the quiet one with the glasses. We don't see ourselves in what we behold now. We see these other motherfuckers that are so dominant that we gotta step outside of who we are just to become that. So with the groups, it was a total representation of what you can be because you already those things. Now everybody's lying, cheating, and fronting to act like they take jets, to act like money's important, to act like they got a lot of girls, to act tough. So all of those things is missing right now, and that's why hip hop is stagnant. I'm not talking about the business of it. They selling records, they touring, they getting money. I'm not trying to take livelihood from anybody else. What's lacking is the responsibility that comes with this hip hop to make the change necessary that nobody's gonna do for us.